Lewis, tell us what it means to be in the championship playoff. Uh, everything, you know. Um, going, going into a season, you want to be successful. You want to try and achieve something, and this is an opportunity to do that. Um, hopefully, we can achieve something big for the club, for the fans, and um, and get that win. You've been there before. Mm -hmm. You were there with Reading. Yeah. Twelve months ago. Um, what sort of an occasion is it? Um, Obviously, it's a one-off occasion in terms of the atmosphere and the fans and travelling to Wembley and all the, all the, all the rest of it. Um, in terms of football, obviously, it's just another game. But because of the atmosphere, because of the amount of fans that's there, it makes it special. Um, something that, you know, when you retire, you look back on and uh, it's like a highlight of your career. And, um, you know, if, it, if you're successful, it's a really good day, um, so that's what we'll be trying to do come weekend. In terms of a, an occasion, have you experienced anything quite like it? No, I wouldn't say I have. Um, you know, the times that I've played there, you know, obviously last year with Norwich getting promoted, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're standout days, you know. Um, and I don't think during the regular season, you don't get anything close to it, really. Um, Maybe if you reach cup final, you might get something that's similar. Um, but yeah, when there's something, when it's all or nothing, uh, it is quite unique. So how do you go about preparing for it? I think you try and do it as, as normal as possible. Um, bearing in mind that you are very professional um, in your regular season. Uh, yeah, we just, we're just trying to do everything as calmly as normal um, and just get everything that you need to do. Uh, done. You've been there before. I mean, how valuable is is that experience? Yeah, I think it is. Um, when you've got, like we have, we've got a few people that's played there. I mean, majority's played there, whether it's internationally, uh, in a cup game, or or these uh, these playoff finals. You know, it's it's good to have that experience because it creates a, a calmness amongst the squad. You know, we know what to expect, and the the occasion won't won't overwhelm us. How do you reflect on the, the two semi-final matches against Middlesbrough? Uh, tough games, like scrappy, scrappy, tough games. Um, but one of those ones where you look back, it's like we, we needed to win and we did it by any means necessary. Um, and the main main objective was to get through them no matter what. And that's that's kind of how it happened. I think it weren't pretty, neither game was pretty, but we just was able to get through. Um. Um, yeah, they're 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 a good team. Obviously, they finished finish third. You yeah, fourth. yeah. I mean, they're not they're not third for no reason. Um, they're a good team. They move the ball well. They've got good individual players, and they're a threat. Um, and they 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 should be in the final, as we should be as well. So um, we 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 look at their strengths, and then we we'll try and try and counter that with ours. So, um, but they are a good team, yeah. I mean, in terms of going forward, um, mm -hmm. I think in 2018, they, they scored more championship goals than, than any other side. Just how much of a force are they up front? Yeah, they, they, they are a threat. They've got, a, they've got pace. Uh, they've been clinical. Um, and that's something that we need to adjust to on the day, you know. Um, and if we're able, able to do what we're, we're, we're capable of doing defensively then we'll be fine you know our defence is, is pretty good so they have to be at their best and so will we Do you sense that there's been a you know, you've been living with expectation all season right from the start yeah um, well with this club there is expectation um, Aston Villa probably well, it is the biggest club in the championship and even if we do go up It'll be one of the biggest ones in the Premiership as well. So there's a, there's always an expectation, and then you have to add the expectation with the players that we have, the squad that we have, um, to achieve something. So I think that pressure is healthy, and I think uh, we thrive off that. So how how well equipped is Aston Villa for returning to the Premiership? Yeah, I think I think the club's ready. I think the club's ready, um, and I think this is 
a good it is well it is our opportunity and we have to we have to grasp it. And in terms of your career, where will it stand if, if, if we go up? Yeah. Uh, yeah it'll be up there. It'll be up there. Um, it will be probably I mean I I don't know how to get the days in the goal but if we do win it will probably overtake the Norwich one. Um, just because there's so much at stake and, and because of the size of the club and what's what's wanted here. Um, so it'd be it would be definitely a big hit. Sorry, it would definitely be a highlight. Lewis, um, the more I think you also played in the player final for I did yeah. So this is be your fourth player final It'd be it would be my fifth that I'm involved in, yeah. Fifth Millwall. I had two with Millwall. Two with Millwall. A loss and a win with Millwall. And then um, obviously Norwich and, and Reading. So two wins and two losses in the yeah. final. So you've seen yeah. both sides of that experience, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously losing is is tough, but the winning is is amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm at fifty fifty at the moment. Well, they always say that you know if you can guarantee you'll go up to the playoffs, it's the most exciting way to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a promotion with Bournemouth, which was automatic. Um, back in the league one days. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't really compare to going up through the through the playoffs in front of your family, in front of all the fans, you know, at a packed Wembley Stadium. It's uh, it's a special day. I've been up to the ticket office this morning to the fans queue for the tickets and they are so excited, I'm sure you yeah. can relate to that. Yeah, yeah, I think everyone is a buzz about the club at the moment, you know. I think everyone's really positive. We saw that on the Tuesday night that we uh that we played uh, Middlesbrough, the atmosphere was it was great, you know. People saying that's the best it's been in years. So, I think there's a real positive vibe with the club, and um, you know we'll take that to Wembley. It's a personal note as well. You must be you know, Steve Bruce brought you in to try to add goals up front as well, and you must be really pleased with the return so far. Yeah, it's been it's been good for me. Um, you know, I've come in, been able to get games, and and been able to 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 score goals, and you know the managers put faith in me, and I've been able to repay him. With some uh, decent performances and and getting my goals, so uh, yeah, it's been it's been a good time at the moment.